need to tell you something. We'll go get from under there. What? I can tap my question. <laughs> What's your question? Uh -huh. Okay. You're going to sleep at Juju's house? Yeah. Do you know why you're going to sleep at Juju's? Why? Why? Because I think your baby sister is going to come really, really soon. And, and we're like going to wake up and pray like for tomorrow, a little bit. Like tomorrow <laughs> or the next day? Yeah, exactly. Like tomorrow or the next day. Do you hear that, Luca? Or today. <laughs> Maybe today, but I think tomorrow or the next day. What do you think about that, Luca? I think it's going to come on the next day. Oh. I feel like I've been holding my breath ever since your mom told me she was pregnant with you and I won't be able to let that breath out until I see you take your first one. Before you got here, you had another baby brother or sister that is now in heaven and it's for this reason that my breath has been held in so tight because I've realized how much of a miracle you really are and how much of a miracle your sisters are as well. And I don't know if or when I'll be able to feel like I can breathe again. But I do know I want to do all I can to make sure that you get here and we can all breathe together. You know, these past nine months that you've been growing in your mom's stomach, and I've had this feeling of not being able to breathe. I've also learned so much about patience and endurance and trust and faith. Because this entire time, we've been hit with obstacles as your mom carried you. And I've learned to trust God more than I ever have. Because not seeing you and not being able to take control and make sure that you're okay was completely out of my hands. Kind of how today is out of my hands as well. Sorry, Phil. Nervous and pain. Excited. Yeah. Oh. She opened her eyes. She must have heard your guys' voices. Hey, no. Yeah. 
fresh gloves on here. So I'm going to weigh her first and then we'll do her other measurement. So this is the first time that me and you get to spend some alone time together and I want to let you in on a little secret. I struggle with something that a lot of people don't know about and that's the fear of losing control. You know, I always thought I had control and that thought has served me well for so long to achieve all the things that were controllable. And it wasn't until you and your sisters came that I realized how little control I do have of things. And that's the reason why my breath was on hold for nine months. But now that you are here, I feel like I can breathe again. I know that I don't have control of everything, but I do have control of my attitude and my willingness and my commitment that I made to you, your sisters and your mom. And I vow to you just how I bow to your sisters, that I would do everything in my power to be present in every aspect of your life. From the things that I say to you, to the way that I show up, to the way that I discipline you, to the way that I love you, to the way that I teach you. And most importantly, through the way that I treat your mom to show you how a man should love you and I promise you it'll always start with me so that when you do go out into the world you know how you should be treated You are sure a pretty girl.